We're putting the band back together. They don't tour, record, or even exist, but hell are they iconic. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the best fictional movie bands. And just like the amplifier of a certain fictional metal group, this list goes to 11. If you can see, yeah, the numbers all go to 11. Look, right across the board, oh. 11, oh, 11, and most of 11, the and then amps go up to 10. Exactly. Number 11. Dewey Cox, Walk Hard, The Dewey Cox Story. In my dreams you're blowing me some kisses. Kicking off our list is the subject of one silly biopic parody. Dewey Cox is a Johnny Cash type and one hell of a blues guitar player. Through the movie, we see the natural evolution of his music. And by natural, we mean drug-fueled. It's called cocaine, and you don't want no part of this shit. From rockabilly to punk to folk and more, Cox rocks through tons of genres before finally writing his masterpiece. Beautiful rock. Then dying. Number 10, The Commitments, The Commitments. I'm gonna wait till the midnight hour. That's when my love comes tumbling. They're the world's hardest working band. A bunch of blue collar Dubliners get together to form a group, but they're not your typical bunch of blue collar Dubliners. When you think of Irish songs, this is not the first thing that comes to mind. But against all odds, these guys got soul. Number nine, Marvin Berry and the Starlighters, Back to the Future. Who could forget the Enchantment Under the Sea dance with Marty McFly himself on guitar? Marvin Berry and the Starlighters are not only noteworthy for their brilliant cover of Earth Angel, Earth Angel will you be mine? but also for introducing rock and roll to the father of the genre, Marvin's cousin. You know that new sound you're looking for? Would Johnny Be Good even have existed if it weren't for Marty? This is heavy. Guess you guys aren't ready for that yet. Number eight, Robbie Hart, the wedding singer. This thing they call love is gonna make you cry, I hate you. The eponymous wedding singer and his band contribute many of this flick's unforgettable moments, including drunken renditions of Holiday. Everybody spread the word. I live in my sister's basement. And of course, love stinks. What they push you out? Love stinks. Love stinks. The band is so hilariously, believably 80s that it's easy to forget the movie was filmed over a decade later. Bonus: they have killer guest vocalists like the Boy George lookalike keyboardist. Do you really want to you suck. Me? You suck. And the rapping granny. I said hip hop. I hit it to the hip to the hip hip hop. Number seven. Sex bob Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. We are Sex bob and we're here to make you think about death and get sad and stuff. Here's a band we really wish were real. This is the beginning of the song. One whose lo-fi crunch and delightfully adolescent lyrics would cater perfectly to a cult following. Oh my God, it's Chuck. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. It's no surprise they're so catchy. Their songs were written by alt-rock hero Beck who also coached the cast members to ensure an authentic indie rock vibe. Number six, Barry Jive and the Uptown Five, High Fidelity. Previously known as Sonic Death Monkey, Kathleen Turner Overdrive, and Barrytown, this band in the making debuts in the third act. And if you feel like I feel shit, come on. Wow, come on. And to everyone's surprise, they sound amazing. Barry Jive's inclusion in this captivating film about love, loss, and the power of music is almost a send-up of the comedy drama genre. A chaotic mix of elements that work together toward a satisfying resolution. With me, you. Number five, the Blues Brothers, the Blues Brothers. Everybody needs somebody to love. Someone to love. Someone to love. 
One of the greatest musical comedies of all time showcases one of the best fictional groups ever to hit the big screen. The Blues Brothers are an R&B tour de force, and they mix the best parts of rock, jazz, soul, and of course blues. What are you gonna do? They got the threads, they got the soul, and they got the moves. Number four, the wonders, that thing you do. No, they are not the Oneaters. No, the, the wonders. Got it, looks like the Oneaters. They're the wonders from Tom Hanks' excellent directorial debut. Half Beatles, half Beach Boys, the wonders embody a very particular cultural era, the mid-1960s. We're even treated to some catchy 60s style tunes, as the actors played their own instruments and recorded a few songs, including the movie's title track. Their feel-good pop is pitch perfect for this feel-good flick. That was swinging, man. Swinging? That, swinging. That's good, right? Swinging's good. Number three, Stillwater, Almost Famous. While charting the rise of fake rock band Stillwater in 1973, Almost Famous takes a hard look at touring and how the often chaotic life of sex, drugs, and rock and roll can take its toll. And you can tell Rolling Stone magazine that my last words were... I'm on drugs! At times, the film is fun, at others, deeply contemplative. But Stillwater's music, with its authentic 70s rock vibe, always makes the perfect soundtrack. Yeah. Number two, The Wild Stallions, Bill and Ted. Excellent! <laughs> if The Wild Stallions ever hope to save the world with rock and roll, they'll have to pass their history exam, travel through time, and defeat death himself. Bill and Ted are the quintessential daydreaming metalheads. One, two, three, four! And their band is a tribute to every high schooler who ever air guitared his way through a boring class. Without them, we'd never have learned to... Party on, dudes! Number one, Spinal Tap, this is Spinal Tap. Tiny Stonehenge Monuments. Amps that go to 11. Eyebrow raising songs. Working on a sex farm. Plowing through your beef Spinal Tap is number one on our list because they're responsible for elevating the mockumentary to unprecedented levels of absurdity, hilarity, and awkwardness. Whether they're lamenting the deaths of former band members. He, he died in a bizarre gardening accident. Discussing their guitar collection. Never. I mean, what can I uh, look at? No or developing a light-hearted musical about Jack the Ripper. Saucy Jack, Saucy now's Jack. the time to do that. You're a naughty one. Saucy, Saucy Jack. Jack. Spinal Tap is a prime example of why we can't get enough of fictional movie bands. We're sure we've left some of your favorite fictional movie bands off the list. Anybody order a love burger? Well done. Who would you have added? Let us know by subscribing to watchmojo.com. Come on, let it snow. Come on and let it This snow. is shit, isn't it? Yep, solid gold shit, my store.